watch that video because in that video i have given four criterias whenever you have two uh, offers in hand which are not very different then there are these four criterias you should look at hello and welcome everyone if you are new to this channel then my name is amit patel and uh, you are watching musings with software engineers if you are new then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel i share ideas inside tools and tactics so if you want to grow uh, really fast in the software industry then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any updates i have two offers tcs 3.36 lakhs per annum and uh, cognizant 4 lakhs per annum which one to join okay so both companies tcs and cognizants are uh, cognizant are good companies okay um i would say at this point uh, because see you don't know how is tcs you don't know how is cognizant okay now the the difference is very small the difference is very small there is only uh of uh, 60000 difference in in this okay and when you are saying 60000 maybe a 2 3000 will get added to your in hand salary okay so when the difference is small okay then what you need to do is i have a video on my channel in which i talk about what to do when you have two offers in hand okay if you have two offers which are totally distinctly different for example how can they be different one is they can be different money wise so they are distinctly different somebody is offering you 3.6 lakhs but another one is offer, offering you directly 7 lakhs it's a no brainer you are going to go with a 7 lakhs even if i tell you go with 3.6 lakhs you will go with the 7 lakhs everyone will do that okay 99.99% people will go with the 7 lakhs because that is what is right okay now other thing will be the technology offered okay maybe you are getting a similar salary but which technology are you going to work on okay and these are services company so you will not be able to find out which technology you are going to work on okay so in case you know the technology you are going to work on then you can decide on basis of that because that is your uh, passion whatever you want to do forward okay let's say you are interested in uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence and tcs has said that they are going to put you on machine learning and artificial intelligence projects then you can go with them okay but uh because you are having 3.36 lakhs uh, per annum in tcs it means that you may not get that project 100% because uh tcs is giving a higher salary 6.5 to 7 uh, lakh salary to people they call who who join in digital uh, technology okay Uh, in the digital technology stream and digital technology they consider cyber security cloud computing um, artificial intelligence and machine learning as a digital technology field in which tcs is giving a higher salary 6.5 to 7 lakhs which only few people get in a year maybe 2000 people 2000 freshers get that salary rest 40 50000 freshers will get 3.36 lakhs per annum okay Uh, so you find out which technology okay and depending on that make a decision but watch that video because in that video i have given four criterias whenever you have two uh, offers in hand which are not very different then there are these four criterias you should look at and if these four criterias match then based on that matching you go to the company which you like the best okay because 60000 will not make much of a difference uh but in see here is another way of thinking let's say you go to cognizant uh, technologies at 4 lakhs per annum and you start thinking that i am only getting 3.6 lakhs per annum and that additional uh, 60 lakh uh, 60000 or additional 50000 more that you are getting you just go on saving that amount okay you save that entire amount okay so you will build a wealth you will build a financial uh, you you know you will start building your bank balance okay 
salary is not important salary how much ever salary you can get but how much money remains in your hand at the end of it okay you can also think like that and then you can go with 4 lakhs per annum and keep that money aside as your savings okay and build your wealth you know there was one fellow on kora i don't know if you can go to kora and you can search for that that fellow in i think 5 years or 10 years he accumulated 70 lakhs in his savings so whatever income he was he was earning he just put it aside he 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 put it aside and he was living in in whatever as much less income as possible just imagine if you have 70 lakhs in your bank you can easily leave your job and start a business or do something at that particular stage okay or you can even take a break for 2 3 years okay but uh, that that's that's what uh, i would do uh, out of these two offers i would decide on basis of two things one what is important if money is important then i will take the higher salary so that it gives me a little bit of more comfort uh, you know i am able to uh, send my clothes for uh, ironing and i i don't waste my time i am able to eat outside so that i don't have to cook at home whatever i can use that money for which that time which i save i can invest that time in in getting more skills or i can take this 50000 and invest in some online course and become a skill above the rest okay so you have to decide on basis of that where you want to go okay but you de- you make the decision okay kelvin uh, always make your own decision so that you don't have to blame anybody that oh i listen to this person and then i made a decision you don't have to do that okay i hope uh, kelvin that uh, that helps you and uh, let me know in the next live what decision did you make so subscribe to this channel before you go like this video if you have liked what i have discussed so far in the video okay share this video with your friends so that we can grow as much as possible uh, thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next live